All right, guys. Carson, right. Carson here with the Real World. Here we are, about to go in. I'm taking, I'm taking the reins. Carson here with the Real World. We're going in to see Civil Wait, War. I'm shoot my own version this way. Yeah, go ahead and shoot your version. I don't shoot care. My version this way. This is the Southern version. All right, Cameron. And Carson, All right, Carson here with the Real World. Cinemas. We're coming in here in Premier uh, Cinemas. We're about to go see Civil World. War. We've got really excited to see this. Right um, Civil War is coming. Honestly, out, my and, expectations uh, are really low. I. Honestly, I, I'm just not expecting this to be very good. Yeah. Uh, Alex Garland, I like though as a filmmaker. I've liked that yeah. Kachina, I like the Annihilation. I know. But He's got a great track record. A24 yeah. also has a good track record, but... This is their biggest budget. We'll Hopefully see. Hopefully they pull it off. We'll see. We'll my, let you my, know when we get My hopes are high, my expectations are low. <laughs> right. All right. Coming right. out of Civil War. A24's Best budget film to date, mm -hmm. the premier indie studio mm -hmm. that everyone's right. in love with. Yeah, uh, yeah, Alex yeah. Garland. That's right. Wrote and directed this. Um, it didn't work for me. Yeah, it didn't work for you. Yeah, I like it more than you do, but I still think it has some issues. Yeah. Um, I I think the central character arc works very well. Yeah, this movie. I really like that. I think this movie suffers a lot from poor marketing. Uh, it just doesn't really. It, it wasn't what I was expecting. Yeah. Um, it's not an action. It's movie. not an action. Don't movie. go in thinking it's not, this is a big war it, action film. Yeah, it's not that, an action you'll movie. You'll be sorely disappointed. It's not an action movie. It's not a war movie. Right. It's it's a movie about a group of photographers. Right. Right. That are documenting war. Yeah. Just generally war. Yeah. The fact that it's set in America and it's about the American, the second American Civil War right. doesn't really ever play into the story. Yeah, it's just a backdrop. It's just kind of it's a, the yeah. yeah. It, it, the movie doesn't even really say. There's not say, a lot of world building of, of right. like figuring out what's going on. Yeah, there's no world building. It just kind of throws you in. And it doesn't really say anything about there's America. There's not a lot of commentary. It's not a big political commentary movie. Yeah, yeah. You know, it doesn't gonna, even really It's have, not going to ruffle many feathers. Right. It because it's a very straightforward sure. anti-war film that's just like... And yeah. I, I actually like the angle of the photographers. I thought that was an interesting I do too. angle. I do too. And there were certain visual things that they did with that that I right. really liked too. I just think that because it was set during the Second American Civil War, it was distracting mm. from the story. Sure, sure. I was constantly kind of wondering what's really going on. Are we going to yeah. talk about any of this? Is this. No. And it was just constantly, it felt like the movie was kind of at war with itself. Sure. And sure. couldn't really tell yeah. what it was wanting to do or yeah. wanting to spend time mm -hmm. on. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, but yeah, the central story. The uh, central four characters. Is really about. We follow through the whole story. It's kind of a road movie with them. Very road movie. Yeah. And very that, road to trip. me, worked. It's just the yeah. stuff around it parts, that didn't parts work of as that, well. Parts of that I think really worked. Yeah. It, this movie it has a lot of tonal whiplash to me. Where you'll have a sequence sure. of there were some like, music choices that were odd, music choices that are yeah. very strange, editing choices that are really weird. Yeah. Um, even even for like an A twenty four indie movie, right. it still had some some just kind of kind off putting of bizarre choice, very jarring. jarring. But I think again, I'd like to rewatch it because maybe those were intentional. I'm sure. I'm sure they were trying to go on the journey with the character. You right. know what I mean? But so it, I mean, you'll I go know. you'll go from a very intense scene yeah. of like drama and right. and intensity. Yeah. To like, they're just like smoking in a park, <laughs> right. just like hanging out, yeah, laughing, yeah. and then so, it'll jump right into action real yeah, quick. Yeah, and then it'll be like, oh, yeah. this is now two hundred miles yeah. later, right. and then we're right. in a different place, mm -hmm. and it, mm -hmm. it just kind of resets right. a lot, and it, right. and it made it feel mm -hmm. like it drug on a little bit longer gotcha. than I think it should have. Gotcha. So, I didn't feel like it was too long. I I, I quite enjoyed it. Um, again, if you're going and thinking this is a big war movie. Not really it's what not, it is. No. The, the title's a little misleading because it's, it's about, really more it's of a about, character right. focused, almost drama. Character focused drama yeah. about the desensitization of violence. Yeah, yeah. That's kind of really the crux yep. of the story. Mm -hmm. uh, yep. The fact that it's a civil war doesn't ever really play into the story yeah. in an important way. Right. Uh, Nick Offerman is the president. I was really looking forward to. He gets a lot of narration. He but gets he's on, on screen for maybe one or two minutes. Everything we see in the trailer is everything <laughs> he's much. in the movie, basically. Yeah. Pretty much, uh, which yeah. is kind of a letdown because he's a great actor, and yeah. I would have liked to have seen him do something with he that gets, role. Yeah, he gets some narration moments, like throughout the film, but right. you don't actually see him on screen yeah. a lot. Yeah. Uh, but the rest of the cast I liked. I mean, Kirsten sure. Dunst was good here. Did a good job. What's her name? Kaylee Spanny, I think, yeah. is the main actress. Mm -hmm. She did a great job. Um, so I, I like the performances. I like the overall story. 
Um, I just think it, it could have been a little bit better. Sure. They could have crafted this in a little bit more of an interesting way. Yeah, I give this out of five stars, I give it two. Oh, really? Okay. I think, I think it's fine. I just don't think it does anything really that warrants worth seeing necessarily. I want to watch again. I'm, I'm at three, maybe three and a half. On okay. It. Uh, I quite enjoyed it. I don't think it's the best of the year or anything. Didn't blow me away, but it, it, it had some impactful moments for me that yeah, I really I mean, liked. There, there, cinematography, I think, is, is yeah. where it excels. Bob Hardy shot it. He's a there's really some, good cinematographer. There's some great shots in this movie, but mm -hmm. um, yeah, didn't really do it for me. Yeah, definitely not my favorite of Alex Garland's films. I still like Ex Machina. I Ex think Machina is great. Watch great Ex movie. Machina. Yeah, for sure. Let us know what you think, though. Maybe you loved it. Uh, maybe you hated it. Uh, I don't know. Maybe, maybe you're in the middle. Just let us know in the comments. Make sure you hit the like button and subscribe. Hit the bell so you get notified of all our videos, and we'll see you next time right here on, on The Real, Real World. World.